There we go, we're all ready to go. Got oh. a bit. Use, using, you get a new webcam, and you think, oh, it's going to make your life a lot better. But does it? Because you end up using new Absolutely. software, and you don't get the webcam yeah. to be used in the way you wanted it to be used. Absolutely. Why doesn't that go? Oh, there we go. Don't know. Yeah, so you, as soon as you get something new, just a small part of a, a system, let's say you have a system made up of different bits and bobs, as soon as you buy something new for it, you've got to change all around. Uh. <sighs> anyway, Colin, anyway we've, we've got to be we're quick. back again. Not many people with the truth because. A lot, of pe a lot of people dislike the truth. A lot of people dislike the truth yeah. because they, they scurry do. away. They are so insecure. They scurry they are away. mentally deranged. Oh, uh, sorry. No, I don't really want to hear that. Oh, oh, no, I've got to go. Got to go. Scurry away, they do. Absolutely, people. yes, of course. Scurry away. Lots, there's a lot of truth in man's world that gets absolutely. put under the carpet and once people one, turn their backs on Yeah, them. absolutely. One thing I'm beginning to realise is that when you start to looking at, because um, one thing we're going to oh, show yes, people Peter. is we're going to show how Bill Nye, uh, Bill Nye tries to convince people that the Earth is actually a globe. But it's quite an interesting interaction because you're actually trying to see, you're actually beginning to see real life kind of enter TV. Real life. Real life, because the Earth is flat. Earth when you start flat. talking about flat Earth, you're talking about reality. Absolutely, yeah, you're talking about... Which goes against man's illusion. man's illusionary world. Illusionary world, because but anyway, truth is very seldom heard absolutely. in man's illusionary world. But uh, anyway, so we've got a packed, um, pretty. No, we've got a lot to get through. Lot to get through tonight. We're going to have gonna a look. Go We're going to revisit uh, CO two scrubbers, rebreathers, rebreathers. Well, CO two, and talk about a uh, little bit. Uh, catch up on some proper pH testing. Absolutely, because I have got some convincing. Yeah, no, yeah, you don't need to go into it, but we're yeah. gonna we're gonna we're gonna do that. We're, gonna, we're gonna revisit. We found found some more information about. <laughs> vomiting in submarines that we're just going to um, add to the possibilities and we're going to talk uh, about this video we're going to talk about this video here and also what we what are we going to do we're going to have a look at bill nye as well and we're going to have a little look at um our our new toy we've got so that we're going to play with all right oh yeah so that means oh because that means we might have to as a little aside we might have to change our little image make our windows bigger the windows that people see yeah. so we have to might have to make oh, them bigger oh well yeah sure yeah i mean yeah and um, i think i think we've made we've made modifications to the layout of the video as well yeah i think that's what something we'll have to do no we've we've done it already yeah we've already made some modifications but we because we've we're using different software to hopefully record everything to hopefully record all and of it all in of one it, go in one go so we can just produce it make El Peach job here a lot easier absolutely so let's get on with let's the get show on with the show and of course now because um, because we've got um, um, greater sapien out there trying to prove that he's the greatest sapien above his wise the globe than, rules the world or rules he, them all and he's let's wise, start he's, he's wiser than everybody else let's start today with some with some of this we do it in order Come on, let's go. So come on then, let's go, baby. Well, press okay. Play. You need to press play. That's it. Come on, I'm on Neil. The drums. Neil. Raging S and uh, who's the other guy? Oh, Peter. Get your instruments out. Come on. Just wanna hear ya. We go welcome to your life Absolutely welcome you only, you've only got one of them there's no turning no, back no going back they don't educate Even you about while that while no. we sleep no we will find you acting on Absolutely. your oh, best hello, behavior How are you today? turn your well, back well, on you. mother, mother nature, nature. Ah. everybody wants to rule the world Absolutely. i don't nor does he not worth it 
Because who'd want to rule over It's my own people? design. It's my own remorse. Mm. Help me to decide. 50 50, found a friend. Perhaps. Help me make the most of freedom and of pleasure. Nothing ever Absolutely. lasts well, for yeah. forever. Everybody wants to rule the world. There's a room. That's it, take it away. <laughs> There we go. Well, you're enjoying yourself though, aren't you? Yeah, I should have been Keith Moo. Yeah. Anyway. Anyway. Should we get back to the video? Yeah, let's get back to the video. Absolutely, yeah. I mean, it's ridiculous anyway. But uh, so so that's our song over with. Now, how are you, Peter, before we get started? Yeah, I'm, we I'm, best, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm okay now that we've keep got Keep everybody this updated on your out. well-being, because everybody is interested in your well-being. Well -being. Yeah, I'm very well, thank you. Thank you. Good, and I good, hope good. you are well too. And we have to say a big thank you or a big hello to new subscribers. Yeah, yeah we've got to say. We, we don't ask people to subscribe to this channel. Yeah, we never do. We like to think that people have a brain to yeah. think, oh, I like this. Or oh, I like this. Yeah, I'll subscribe to They can oh, make food. that decision uh, 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 themselves. Uh, 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 they can subscribe to this YouTube channel. It's really okay. <laughs> I know, it's, it's you know, silly I mean, how people like, share, subscribe. I mean, to be honest with you, it's not, why should other people be telling people what, what to, to do, do all of the time? time? Yeah. Yeah, I know, yeah. Is it, I mean, it's or, ridiculous. Or, or is it a case that people just need a bit of encouragement? You know, if you like, then subscribe. Absolutely. Anyway. If you're a globe trotter, like Neil Helgerson. Neil deGrasse Helgerson. You, you dislike the videos, then just Foxtrot Oscar. Absolutely. But if you don't you, like something, if you keep leaving comments. All avoid the time, it. You obviously like the videos. Absolutely, and like of course. Our company. Absolutely. Anyway, so now let's get started on tonight. Now we're going to click this off and see what we're up to. Now, I came across this video here. Some people may have seen it. It's um, the edge of the flat Earth wall of Antarctica. Now, all in all of my years doing flat Earth, maybe we can play it. I'm going to, I'm going to full screen this. In all of my years doing Flat Earth, I've, I've never come, on, let's come go. across a video such as this. I'm going to mute that because we don't need it. But it's it's a long shot. I've seen photographs of these ice wall cliffs, you know, these cliffs of ice. Um, I've seen photographs, but I've never seen actual video footage that covers such a long distance. And it, this video is only four four minutes long, I think, four minutes, yeah. 18 seconds. But it's well worth just having a little look because it kind of like makes you think that it is, it's supporting information to make a lot of people understand that there is an ice wall around keeping the earth, all the water keeping, in. retaining all the water. You know, when I fill my bath up with water, there's the, the bath retains the water. As soon as the water gets above the uh, bath, it will overflow. So we can, mm. uh, it's very clear to understand mm. that it's more than likely given this information and your bath and every, your whole experiences with water that um, the, Antar the Antarctica retains all the water. Absolutely. Isn't it? Anyway, yeah. so that's that. I mean, it goes, it goes on four minutes and they go, you know, there's- They just keep so, going, don't they? They keep going, yeah. that keeps going. I mean, I couldn't gauge the height of this sheer I'd cliff. Imagine it's probably about ice. 100 feet. 100 feet, feet, maybe. maybe. Well, it's hard to know until it's you hard to know until you actually get down there. That. But, I mean, okay. it extends right out there, extends as far as the eye miles. can see. You know, and to be honest with you, that you know, it, it's very, very, very. It's and you've even got a land, uh, you know, near the waters view of this ice yeah. because it's, the more flat earth comes out you'll get more information like this coming out absolutely because i've not i've not seen anything like this in oh, right. two years video by thank Ralph. you ever so thank Cheers, you Ralph, Ralph, Ralph for that very kind of you yeah or the person who, who got Dream it from well. Ralph, i should say now bill nye let's do bill nye we'll let's do on. bill nye before we do this guy now let's have now bill nye is coming he's not very good bob about flat earth beliefs He's not very good at convincing people the Earth is a globe. Absolutely. Now we're just going to play this bit here. Where we want to, I don't want to say play devil's advocate, but working off the you assumption. You want to see their point of view. Yeah, we're going to be sympathetic to, can I say dumbass? <laughs> Please. 
I don't, I don't, this is one thing that strikes me. And it's, it's a thing that's ran throughout the whole of the flat earth um, globe debate. And that is, you get an awful lot of globe charts that be a little um, flat denied earthers. Um, flat, earthers. flat earthers all the time. This is what these people are doing. Could you trust anyone that calls you a dumb ass? You know, I mean, when you think about it logically, you know, it's 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 just silly to 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 do that. You know, I wouldn't if somebody called me a dumb ass or thought I was a dumb ass just for holding a view or opinion. I, I, I wouldn't trust them at all. And this is the worst thing about it all. For him, for people like Bill Nye, Neil deGrasse Tyson, Brian Cox calling people morons. Yeah, absolutely. You know, yeah. how are they building trust with people? Absolutely. They're by not. calling them, by dividing these people. They're not. They're going about it in a completely wrong way. It's, it's because they're doing it. Oh, the, the, the guy's an idiot for thinking that. Absolutely. And yet they shouldn't yeah. be like that. That's, that's the because. only reason why they are like this is because they know that we're right. Absolutely. And they, what they're doing is what wrong. What they're doing is wrong because they are frightened of being found out for good. Absolutely. So what they're doing is absolute bollocks. Yeah. Anyway. Absolutely. Oh, yeah, but was was there that and, and yeah, uh, it, he went oh, on. Oh, he went on about I'm not sure uh, where to planetary. Where? Oh, it was during this yeah, bit, just it? before there. Here we go. There, let's play it from there. He did a challenge. Asked B O B for yeah. challenge. Oh. <laughs> he he's got a GoFundMe. He's trying to buy a satellite to take his own pictures. Okay. To, to to prove. So before you do that, why don't you consider joining the planetary site? We will have a satellite. Join the Planetary Society. We will have cameras that will take a picture of the Earth, and you can decide for yourself. It's not a conspiracy. Come to Cape Canaveral and see the rocket launch. I'm here for you, man. <laughs> Bob, come to Cape. I challenge you. Bob, come to Cape Canaveral this. and watch a rocket launch. There you go. <laughs> and so, Bob, come to Cape Canaveral for the launch of Light Sail Two, and we can take a meeting about your flat Earth. Is Kyrie invited? Too? If he wants, yeah. Okay. Sure. They can, they can, they can carpool. Now pause that there. Yeah. Why? Why doesn't he ask all flat earthers to go there? Yeah, I know. Yeah. Why yeah. is it just B.O.B.? Why is it just B.O.B.? Because he's a top celebrity. But anyway, um, I like how he said that this white sail uh, satellite that they're launching. To take the photograph. To take the photograph of the Earth from space, and he says. Let you decide. Absolutely, they'll take the photograph and they'll let and they'll let be able to be able to let you decide whether the Earth's a globe, whether the Earth's a globe or not. But surely, a photo. If all this was real, it you know it shouldn't be a case of it let you be a case decide. Of, here's here's the evidence. Here, here it is. It is, we've sent, uh, it is we've a globe. Sent, sent a rocket up or satellite. Oh, it's because these guys cannot be convicted of their own beliefs that the earth is a globe because it's not absolutely it's, absolutely they can't be convicted that it, it look it is a globe absolutely they can't be they can't be like they can't show not. conviction behind their understanding of a globe earth because they know deep down inside that they are bullshitting people, people. absolutely you know i mean and the worst thing is is that how can asking someone to go to watch a rocket launch prove that the Earth's a ball. Yeah, I know, when yeah, Bill yeah. Knight knows, and he knows that flat earthers know that the rockets launch, and then they come down again. You know, surely this guy does his. He, you know, he's he's obviously just trying to convince people that the Earth's a ball. This Absolutely. ball, it's just convincing, convincing this game. Ball. War, war of minds. Absolutely, but um, I mean, it's it's just ridiculous, you know. I mean, if somebody wanted to prove to me something that they of a claim that they make, you know, all I'd want to see is some actual evidence that oh. I'd go, oh right, oh, right yeah, yeah, you're absolutely, oh sorry, yeah, yeah, of course you're right, you know. Oh, right, yeah, oh you but... do own a blue car. I've even seen your red, your your, your uh, ownership documents. I've seen photographs of you in yeah, it. Yeah, 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 yeah. You, you've you've basically ruined your car. You know, because I can see that you possess your car. Yeah, anyway, you know, it's this kind of stuff, but you don't get the transparency it's, one it's, expects from NASA and from a lot of these science people. It's just like full court pendulums prove that the Earth is rotating. 
Absolutely, full court pendulum proves that the Earth's rotating, and yet, and they can work anywhere. Absolutely, on the globe, anywhere. Absolutely. In, you, in you, any orientation, you, know, you, you think that they could only work at the North and South Pole, oh, and yet they work even anywhere. anywhere. Even at la different latitudes, whatever. It yeah. It's ridiculous. So not only do and, and yet, oh, oh hold on, not only do they pick up the Earth's rotation, they also pick up earthquakes, movements, you know, seismic activity. Absolutely, and and to further add um, um, salt into the wound. Salt into the wound. They even say that the Earth rotates, and the sorry, the Earth and the atmosphere rotate in unison. So, if the Earth and the atmosphere are rotating in unison, then how can anything detect the Earth's rotation? rotation. It can't, like a full core pendulum. It, it can't do that. Absolutely. BS. It's, it's absolute bullshit. Absolutely. Yeah, anyway, but, um, you know, that's anyway, that's that's, that's uh, Bill by 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 Bill, Bill baby. Bill by. Anyway, let's get on to this one now. Undeniable once in a Greater before, Sapien. Before. Now, Sapien, as in Homo Sapien. Do you want to do the show on your own? Not really. Keep going. Means uh, means wise. Sapien means wise. So Homo Sapien is wise man. Yeah. Latin for wise man. Human beings, are we wise? No. Well, not are we really? No. When you think about it. So th this guy, Great Sapien. Okay. I think you should do this bit. Oh, right, then. Undeniable, one simple and fatal flaw oh, of the flat, flat Earth, Earth model. Dum dum dum. I'm just going to read. Can I read this? Uh, bit yeah, out? he's he's put coming and putting it across as though here we go. I've got a flaw. Found a flaw of the flat Earth. There you go. You read that. that means that the Earth is not flat. Absolutely. Just because of this. Absolutely. Nothing else. It says it reads the flat Earth model has a very simple, fatal, and undeniable flaw. Undeniable because this flaw is based on facts we all agree upon. In this video, I will lay out these four simple facts and the conclusion they lead to. And the only recourse flat earth believers will have will be to deny the facts they've traditionally agreed with. Okay. Yeah, you're going to want we ready? four facts. Come on. Four facts. So let's just maximize this because a lot of people, this has become popular in the flat earth. Um, but it globe debate. It doesn't, the, it doesn't dissuade. Just mute that. It doesn't dissuade flat earthers because all it does is it fuels their um, their desire to find out why this is the case. Well, no, because, and also flat earthers can see the illogicality of this video. Absolutely. So he goes on this. On, he goes on the fact that a circle is three hundred and sixty degrees. I'd agree with that. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. And I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna. Number two, 360. Deep, sorry, 360 degrees divided by 24 equals 15 degrees. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I would agree with that as well. Oh, and a solar day is 24 hours. Yeah. Would you agree with well, that? Well, I need to look at the information about a solar <coughs> day. I would I say. Know, I know a day is only about 23 hours and 56 minutes. Absolutely. Sure. It's, but it's it's roughly 24 and also, hours. And roughly. also, the globe Earth is meant to rotate in one day, 360.986 degrees. Absolutely, yeah, because you've got your side of real days, you've got your other it's days. Very, it's, it's very, very confusing, confusing, to say the least. Because nobody actually explains it all to you. So. Absolutely. So, so number three, mm, Bill, possibly. That's another thing. If Bill Nye, you don't get Bill Nye, you don't get uh, Bill Nye, you don't get... Uh, yeah, yeah. Brian, Brian Cox. Cox. They don't explain all this. Absolutely, yeah. You know, this is why it's all nonsense. Absolutely, these guys don't do it. But uh, so we'll go on to the fourth one and the last one. Oh, there we go. The sun position changes 15 degrees each hour. Now, this is something I can only agree on if you take into account your location. Because number four, you and I both agreed no, Please. you can only, you can't, some position changes 15 degrees each hour. That is, they're saying that you can, that's at any point on the earth. Absolutely, and, but that is incorrect. But I'd need to verify that, to know that was true. So, so would I, because I, I don't think that's true at all. In this guy's use of mathematics of all things to show the 15 degrees, uh, you can't apply mathematics to something that's out in life. Absolutely. You apply it to a piece of paper. Absolutely. And you can apply it if you're in the centre of a circle. Absolutely. If you're in the centre of a circle. So, now, when we think about all of the 
um, these four premises that this guy is giving off is claiming to be true. One thing that um, one thing that you've got to take into account, he's basing it all on a circle. On a Absolutely. circle. Yeah, so there you go. He's got the flat earth there. Then he starts putting his... The sun's going around the... The sun's going around the equator. Okay. The equator. Then he starts putting his 15 degrees in. Then he starts go. putting his 15 degrees in. Oh, look, there's okay. more of them. Okay, it's great. Now, obviously, if you were standing at the North Pole... Oh. Let me do this. I've got to do this. If you're standing at the North Pole, you could during the summer during the summer months you could go you could measure your 15 degrees every hour 15 15 15 15 15 15 15 yeah. 15, 15, 15, 15. so you got the whole day because you got 24 hours of sunlight you can prove that to be the case Hold on. no that's if you have got 24 hours that's if of you sunlight. have got 24 hours of sunlight in the north pole i'm going on this i don't know anywhere on the Earth that does have 24 hours. Well, I'm summer. going on the assumption that you do have 24 you may have, hours. Uh, you may have at the North Pole. Absolutely. When the but, sun is at the Tropic of Cancer. Oh, of course, yeah. No, actually, to be honest with you, I've not seen video footage of the sun actually keeping the same position and going all the way around. Like yeah, I know, yeah. And it, you, the, the elevation stays the same. Because that's what you would see. Because that's what you would expect to see if you was exactly at the North Pole. Or the South Pole. No, because they're... I think it's because, because no. it's oh, no, on a tilt. You. It's on a tilt, so you, you wouldn't get that. So you'd never see that. So therefore, his whole... His number four is absolutely incorrect then, isn't it? Absolutely, yeah. yeah. Because yeah. If, the, if the sun starts to rise... Like we've seen in video footage of the north, at uh, the north in the northern regions, twenty-four hours. No, 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 no. You, where's your, your fifteen degrees? Is going to alter? Hold on, in an hour. Hold on, your fifteen in this example on this flat. Yeah, yeah. Model, quick, quick. The fifteen degrees would be able to be observed. Yeah. If you were at the North Pole. Absolutely. So this, G this, given would, this mathematically. So this would be uh, a good uh, method of globe charts to debunk the flat earth and that is by saying to a globe trotter well, if you think we're wrong go to the north pole and look at the sun's motion at the tropic of when the sun's on the tropic of um cancer cancer and you should see 24 hour sunlight. 24 cents hour sunlight at the north pole and you'll be able to see it move and it should remain at the same elevation all the way around absolutely yeah now that is a proof of a flat earth wouldn't because it? a globe a, a flat earther cannot go to the north pole just like they can't go to the uh antarctica oh right yeah now that would they prove, can't go that would, now prove. that would prove that the earth is actually flat, flat absolutely because you can't get that on a globe earth absolutely and that is if the sun remains at the same elevation throughout that 24-hour period but anyway but anyway so let's so move on. Does, so 15 degrees. So, so he changes his location. Changes his location to South Africa. You may as well play that just to... No, I'm not. Oh, okay. Because well, yeah. he adds his... So he changes his position to South Africa and says, well, we, won't, we don't get 15 degrees. But why well, every hour? But what he's failing to realise is that you're... He's out... Well, you're not going to get that because you're outside of a circle. You're outside of a circle. The 15 degrees would only work if you're in, in the centre of, cent cent of the circle. circle yeah. It wouldn't, you know, it wouldn't work when you're on South... Uh, absolutely. So so the claim, number four claim, okay. But he's he's arguing that the point he's making is that you do see the sun 15 degrees move anywhere on the earth. But that's incorrect because we know that if I was in... If but I was on the be equator, a myth. That could actually be that, a myth. That is a myth. That's, number four is a point Just I can't agree on. Ships going over the horizons. Who knows without verifying it? Absolutely. If you're on the equator, because another thing you've got to think about is think about when the sun's setting and you're on the equator, when the sun is coming towards you or moving away from you, Absolutely. it's going to move a lot further, but the degrees is, are going to be less. The degree of an elevation will be less per hour as they would be so if it the can't sun move. was above you. So it can't move 15 degrees every hour. Every hour. Absolutely. To, to ascertain that is, is just, just silly. That's why so the, 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 this whole thing this why is this whole video is just, just bollocks. bollocks, absolutely. Because and also one of the things is he's using a projection that hasn't been verified to be true, accurate. 
Absolutely. You know, I mean, what's the point of that? Flat Earth has you only know. used this just to um, provide some kind of idea on that this is what it could be. Absolutely. Because yeah. people like visualization. People like something that they it's can like, see. It's like saying th th this guy doing this is just like saying that all balls are round, and yet. Just by all by sorry by stating all balls are round, but just by looking at one ball, because looking at one ball doesn't prove that all balls are round. Because you've yeah, got a rugby ball but, yeah, which I'll, is oval shaped. But one thing that's good is the thumbs up to thumbs down. They're more or less level pegging. Yeah, level pegging. Absolutely. Years ago, five, three three up to five twenty down. Absolutely. A few years ago, that would probably be more in favour of the globe trots, and you've had thirty three thousand views. Whereas it's this. level pegging. So flat earthers, and you are. can probably be rest assured that those uh, thumbs up to thumbs down, absolutely. that ratio can be applied to thirty, nearly thirty four thousand people. Yes, absolutely. There, Peter. So there we, so we can. We, okay, we can baby. Say goodbye to this guy. Okay, now. What are we, what are we going to do here now? We go. We're let's do, do, let's let's do, do can some... we do the motion sickness now? There we now, go. Um, Paul Darcy got in touch uh, with an ex-mariner or had a chat with an ex-mariner and the ex-mariner said to him about feeling sick when they opened up the hatches and <laughs> and we put we put that down to uh, a new environment or well, being familiar. in a sob for so long and then you open the hatch wow, you forgot forgotten what air really absolutely. feels like and you, you just air. Air. <laughs> because no. Now that that although that our although our 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 idea just still holds true as it were, we came across some other pieces piece of information concerning the same thing. And it's on Cora, we've been on Cora and the title of it is Bob Pritchard. I'm, I'm no, that's the motion, motion sickness. sickness. Can one feel seasick on board a submarine? Yeah. Um, and Bob Pritchard Pitchford. I'm a 20-year U.S. Navy veteran and served aboard fleet ballistic missile and fast attack submarines because of the round shape of the well, boat's are you hole. Get, are you going to let me have a go on this? But I've got you, a better American accent than you. I've got a better American oh, accent right, than go you. Then. Go on then. Because of the round shape of the boat's hull, a surface submarine will roll more than a displacement hull with a keel. While submerged, the boat is as stable as it helps. Yeah. Coming to spirit periscope depth in the North Atlantic was always a queasy experience, even for the Soviet submariner. Yeah. As Jim Gordon said, it's all about wave action. Yeah, wave action, yeah. There we go. But he doesn't, really, go. He doesn't really answer the question. You know, sure. Most but, can but, one feel seasick on board a submarine? But, but the, yes. Yes. Obviously, the answer is yes. But to, go on. Explain. Give you an explanation then quickly, quickly. Just well, that's explain fine. what I've just said. Well, it's basically because when the submarine is submerged under a lot of water, it's more stable. Yeah. But as it's rising up nearer to the surface, it becomes unstable because of the motion of waves, <laughs> tides, that kind of stuff, current flows. Absolutely, of course. Or if the submarine is manoeuvring. Diving, absolutely surfacing because we have to remember that a submarine is round in shape really essentially with the ballast tanks at the bottom i think or somewhere and it's more susceptible to being rolled especially with all that oh, wave yeah. action on that conning tower just pish, pish. yeah just to add to the current answers some waves go very deep wow and you can definitely feel them while submerged not so, too long ago. There we don't need to. Oh, right, okay. okay. But anyway, so so, that so there's that one. We can take that off. Another uh, a plethora. So it seems a plethora of there's reasons why right. people why submariners feel get, sick feel sick on submarines or when they're exposed to when they come up to the surface and they're exposed to fresh air. Absolutely. Yeah. <sighs> fresh air. So that's that one. That's, that's that one. one. Now we should do. Oh, we should do um, our. Yeah, we should do our our new yeah. little our PH. Let's do our new little toy first. Which be that one? that one? Now this is our new little toy. What is? What do people think? I bet. I wonder yeah. if people can understand what it is. It's, it's a lunchbox. Yes, it's a, it was what well, it used to be a lunchbox, but we've actually changed it. We've actually uh, we've actually changed modified it. it. We've modified it, and it's now an uh, electrolysis, electrolysis tub. Absolutely. So there, there we've got our plug. So how much? How many volts? 7.2 volts. 7.2 constant. volts. Constant. Constant. Constant as 7 .2 well. 7.2 volts. So there are our, are our electrodes. There's our, if you can pause that. If we use bottles. Oh, well, then okay. No, you missed it. Don't worry. 
just got some bottle tops that we've um, put yeah, in there. Yeah, people can see it on the top. On the top, we'll, we'll stick some hose tubing in, and then the tubing will come out, and hopefully we'll be able to collect the gases that we um, that are produced. And we can test these gases yeah. to see what they are. Absolutely. And there's a nice little fish uh, thing there. Well, you may as well play so it. You can, so you, you can lift up to top up the the to top. top up the water with it absolutely hold it. isn't that fantastic However, one thing i would say very quickly and that is um we have produced chlorine gas haven't we yeah you using can, you salt can, so it's a salt solution. solution clearly comes off from clearly the, comes off from the the <sighs> the two to one ratio because when you electrolyze a salt solution you get a two to one ratio of gases coming off from each electrode and the one ratio, the one, the, yeah, so the one the, ratio is definitely chlorine. Chlorine, yeah. So the electrode that gives off the it's least amount of gas is chlorine. chlorine. If you're it's, using a salt solution, it's not oxygen. Absolutely, as yes, Wikipedia. But we're going to show people that people uh, at a later point, uh, and so that's that we'll do that in a few more, few videos yeah. in some. So that's this one now. Now, let's have a little look at this. Well, I did some pH we, testing. Yes, because we got some new pH paper. paper. Yeah. We got some more and reliable. Well, there's a picture of well, four, four, of the strips, four of the strips here. Now, this is very interesting because... Yeah, quickly, quickly then. What I did, because we're, we're told that if you have a glass of water, get a straw, blow into the water, <laughs> you're going to turn that water into carbonic acid, acid. because we're told that your breath exhaled breath it contains, contains carbon dioxide absolutely. it's that carbon dioxide that turns the water into carbonic acid absolutely because the co2 we're told dissolves in the water absolutely so what i did was that i got a, a glass of water did a ph test of it as in the before the one on the left oh yes peter huh? and then i blew through the water to raise the temperature of it as well because your exhaled breath is quite warm so I raised the temperature of the water and the second pH testing is the one after I've blown through the water. Yes. So then I warmed up a separate yes. glass of water and to that's the same temperature as the blown through water. Yeah. And that's the pH strip reading there. Yes. And as you can see, out of all those three, they look reasonably similar. Although there are just a couple of differences and one is that the blown through and the warm top color are about the same yes of course the, the purple one, the purple the one underneath though on the blown through the green is quite dark it's quite dark compared to the warmed and even the before oh, absolutely now these the first three are actually have been dried out for about an hour and a half yeah yeah because yeah, yeah. i'm thinking well why is that why is that middle one not the same why is that green so so dark dark so then i thought oh well, let's blow up a balloon deflate it keep blowing it up repeat it and deflating and blowing up deflating it because in your breath you've got some uh exhaled breath condensate or some airway lining fluid or whatever so i thought well let's try and well let's do the ph test on that just to see what it's like so the one on the right the ph strip on the right is the concentrate exhaled breath condensate absolutely straight from a balloon straight from the balloon and if you look at the colors they're very uh, similar, albeit stronger, than the blown through one. Absolutely, yes. Because when you're blowing through a straw, your condensate from your breath is actually dissolving, diluting in the water. Into the water. So it's going to have to be a weaker solution of EBC. Absolutely. Whereas if you do it straight from the balloon, you're getting a higher concentration. Oh, of course. Yeah. That's why those colours on the EBC are a lot darker. Even that third green, that sorry, that third yeah. colour. Even that no, green is green. darker than that one. So so what essentially So what I'm saying is is that what changes the pH when you blow through a straw into water is your exhaled breath condensate, not carbon dioxide so essentially what what yeah or another way round you could look at it and that is after you've blown your breath through a straw and bubbled it through water through a, in a beaker of water <laughs> what you've got in what you've got in the water is not a solution of carbonic acid but you have a solution of exhaled breath condensate, condensate which 
according to these photographs, is more alkaline than acidic. Absolutely, and we and that's why your lime water goes milky because an alkaline will turn your lime water milky, not an acid. acid absolutely. So there so we, we go. cannot breathe out as carbon dioxide. Absolutely. If you think we're wrong, go and do your experiments yourself. Absolutely. Just do these yourself. We'd love market. to see some carbon Absolute dioxide. dioxide. Absolutely. <sighs> but anyway, so that's, anyway that so that's that one over and done with. And okay then, Peter, uh, chocks away, baby. So we just need to. We just need to carry on with go this. On here. Now, a lot of people think, you know, as soon as they've seen, because we've covered this in a, a number oh, of videos. We've got, uh, we've, we've missed, we've got our crash course video to do. That's him. Oh. No, well, let, I'll get on the rebreather. The rebreather. The rebreather. Uh, we have covered this slightly before with a number of videos concerning the carbon dark sign. And um, we've had some comments from a number of people who say, well, of course we've got, well, of course there's CO2. Of course we've got, oh, well, yeah. There's CO2 scrubbers, CO2, and we've got rebreathers. Oh, right, yeah, of course we breathe out CO2. Of course we breathe out they CO2. They make CO2 scrubbers yeah. and CO2 rebreathers. Yeah, why do you think they're called CO2 scrubbers, huh? Of course there's CO2. Would you think we are stupid? Yeah. But anyway, you've got rebreathers. Yeah. Now, if we go down the page and oh, we go on to the naval. We'll look at um, a navy one. We'll have, have a look at a naval rebreather, rebreather that, that, uh, that crew obviously members use. Obviously, if you're in a submarine, it will be down, good. Down, uh, down, down. There we go. It'll be good emergency equipment if Absolutely. you have to now, leave the submarine and get to the surface. Absolutely. It's, absolutely. Now, because there's obviously not a oxygen and the, you know, the cylinder tank, the aqualung for every crew member. So they yeah. use these instead. Yeah. Now, if we look through the, um, if we go through the parts, they'll help explain how it works, really. Now, you've got the face mask. Yeah. You've got a tube coming out of the face mask, which goes into a set of air valve. And then that the the pipe comes out, the tube comes out, goes into which a, is a breathing tube, which goes into an absorbent canister, um, and which is held down by a clamp, which is held onto this uh, plate around the chest, the breathing bag, the breathing bag itself, and you've got the oxygen cylinder, which also has a pipe going up and gets connected to the breathing, breathing bag. bag. So essentially, what's happening is that the 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 crewman will breathe, exhale. The the exhaled air will go into the absorbent canister. That absorbent canister will absorb all of that EBC. Yeah. Okay. The rest of the gas that's um, exhaled will go through the, through the canister and into the breathing bag, which where it will mix with oxygen. And then when the crew crewman breathes in. They, they will breathe in a mixture of oxygen and the exhaled gas or gases that are contained within the breathing bag. Absolutely. Yeah. That, that is essentially That's all it is. what it's happens. Very simple. There's no mention of CO2. Two. CO2 doesn't come into the, the equation one little bit. You and know, and when, when, when you think about it, all that needs cleaning out in this piece of equipment. Absolutely. Yeah. It's the mask. The mask, the tube, the tube coming down, and the absorbent and canister, the absorbent canister, and that could probably be replaced. It's designed so it can be replaced with a new canister. Could well be. I, I think it and probably they might, would they be. might need to uh, rinse out the put the breed the inside of the breed. Absolutely, absolutely. but you know, but but we can see that they don't take out carbon dioxide. Absolutely, carbon dioxide is, abs is absolute bullshit. We're beginning to think, you know, especially when it comes to um, our breath and respiration and yeah our breathing and respiration does co2 actually exist absolutely yeah. you know i yeah. mean if, if something exists then surely there must be some evidence that it does exist well there's no co2 on that on no co2 on, on, a, re on a rebreather so you know no oh, mention of oh. co2 absorber oh. co2 recycler the co2 cleanser air cleanser but exhaled some, air but cleanser. someone will say oh, but that's an oxygen rebreather not a co2 rebreather but they can't wear both and you think they're the same thing they're the same they're the same things yeah because you don't you don't yeah. wear a, anyway. a co2 rebreather it's ridiculous anyway so that's that over and done with now 
Now we we have covered this um, before, but we thought we'd we yeah. found some is new it, information. Is it harmful to breathe one hundred percent oxygen? Simple yes. answer is yes. yes. Simple answer is yes. Now you can quickly yeah, explain yeah. this. But we breathe you don't need air. to go through all that. You well, can explain it because you know the information. Yeah, very quickly. We're sp there's supposed to be twenty one percent oxygen in the air, and the body absorbs the same amount. Twenty one percent. Isn't that amazing? <sighs> Just like the sun and the moon, they're the same same sizes in the sky, but one's further away than the other. It's just but what a coincidence! What a coincidence! They're the same size, yeah, just like we breathe in. 21%. Anyway, percent, twenty one percent. Anyway, anyway, <laughs> anyway, you may as well just go on the second page. Yeah, just okay. breathe. Now, what would happen if you breathed one hundred percent? No, well, you should. Yeah, sure. But all the, the all case that's going to happen is that you'll you'll feel it will cause problems. Pathological problems if you breathe 100 percent pure oxygen at normal pressure. Yeah. Here's what happens: fluid accumulates in the lungs. Gas flow across the alveoli slows down, meaning that the person has to breathe more to get enough oxygen. Chest pains occur during deep breathing. Blah blah blah. This goes on. It says here. Oh, it says here. Yeah, so essentially, essentially, what we're what we're saying, which we, yeah, what we're saying is that it you can get oxygen toxicity from breathe from breathing in pure oxygen well that'll, that'll do it goes down yeah you can get oxygen toxicity from breathing in pure oxygen now all of these space people yeah, the astronauts in the gemini and apollo programs breathed 100 percent oxygen at reduced pressure yeah for up to two weeks uh -huh. with no problems so what they're saying is yeah. that the reason why the apollo and gemini astronauts didn't have any problem at all was because they were breathing pure oxygen at reduced pressure yeah, it That's was the, it was the reduced pressure which would which allowed them to survive breathing in pure oxygen uh, and yeah. avoid oxygen toxicity and other associated problems. Now we also got to think about the International Space Station as well, you know. Absolutely. But we came across this video, so Absolutely. let's play it from here. Always diffuse down their partial pressure gradients. This is why it's so much harder to breathe at higher altitudes. When you climb a mountain, the concentration of oxygen stays at about 21%, but the pressure gets lower, which means the partial pressure of oxygen also decreases to about 45 millimeters of mercury at the top of Mount Everest. So the partial pressure... So, so he's actually saying that it gets harder to breathe. And there's less pressure. pressure. When there's less pressure. So how on earth... You've got the same amount of oxygen, but you've got less pressure. Absolutely. How on earth could these astro astronauts allegedly breathe in pure oxygen at reduced pressure and survive? Absolutely. It's dum, dum, dum. That's one of the trouble. Spooky woogie woo. That's one of the things with uh, space and rockets. There's an awful lot and of information. You'll always find something, some information that applies in real life that contradicts the very notion of space travel. Absolutely. It's a very possibility that it can never exist. Now, it's surprising how much information exists that is con contradictory or conflicts with the official version, version of Earth. space and all this kind of rocket, rocket launch, moon landings, all this. Absolutely. Stuff. It's absolutely ridiculous. Absolutely. And the growing amount of it is making anyone, any reasonable person think, yeah, well, it's got to be fake, isn't it? Well, it is. It is. You well, know, it's there's, fake. There's no How is it possible that they could have survived on pure oxygen at a low pressure when everyone knows that if you climb a mountain, a high mountain, yeah. you'll you'll start to you'll even in need the, or require some breathing assistance. Yeah. Because of the pressure. Absolutely, yeah. It's it's you know, it's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. And we, we all see these astronauts healthy I know, doing yeah, their yeah. exercises, on, using all that oxygen on the ISS, yeah. <laughs> I oh, know it's, it's crazy. It's absolutely, absolutely ridiculous. Crazy. Because even when submarines have to dive and be submerged for long periods of time, I am sure that the crew are told not to do exercise, exercise to conserve the amount of air that's in the vessel. Absolutely. Yeah, that, would, that would probably make that sense. That would make sense. Yeah, yeah that would. So you know, it's it's just ridiculous. It's made for television. It's made. For the movie, space, all this stuff, it's just made, made, yeah, made, made. Yeah. So that's about it. That wraps, that, that's, that, that wraps us up. And I really do hope that our audio and video has synced. synced. 
throughout the whole length of yeah, this. I think we, I think we still need to sort out this webcam. Sure, mm. but uh, that, I don't like. I, I liked it before sitting at the desk. Sure, yeah, sure. But, I'm sitting and but uh, anyway, thanks ever so much, to, and um, further to reach for me. Coffee. Sure, thanks ever so much, and always remember till next time. If something doesn't make sense, like Bill and I trying to convince people that you only need to go to Cape Canaveral and watch a rocket launch to know that the Earth is a globe. Yeah, and breathing 100% pure oxygen in a low pressure, with, with just low pressure, will help you survive and avoid oxygen toxicity. And other pathological problems. And other pathological problems Because you've also well. got to realise that it's the pressure inside your body as well. If you're breathing, if you're breathing at a reduced pressure, absolutely, of course, if you're, yeah. the environment you're in is at a low pressure, absolutely, and ever thinking that we breathe out <laughs> carbon dioxide, absolutely, yeah, <gasps> because these images clearly show that we don't, that we don't, absolutely, clearly, and it's you know, if anyone wants to wants to wants to do it, clearly. go right ahead, baby. You know, but uh, so so anyway, uh, we've got um, our uh, Chester Flat Earth Group meeting tonight, tonight, which is why we're doing the video now, isn't it? Yeah, because we, we don't want to do it tonight. And yeah, absolutely. And um, hopefully, we should have a good evening this evening. I'm quite absolutely. looking forward to it. So um, and we'll we can be going to sort, hopefully sort this video out so we can put it absolutely, all of course, with hassle free. Anyway, oh, absolutely, yeah, of course. So thanks ever so much. Thank you, Peter, for your oh, time and your presence. It's been wonderful. Oh, it's been a pleasure. Of course. Bye. Ta -da. The Earth isn't round, it's flat. How do you know? I've observed it in all my travels over Europe. It's flat. Everywhere it's flat.